Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Matthew's Tech Hub and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be covering on how you can actually disable the Microsoft 365 Authenticator app as a whole for your organization. Now, Microsoft is trying to roll out this Authenticator app, which you can download on iOS and Android to add an extra step of security to your account. Now, I'm an IT admin and I run an IT company looking after organizations and I completely understand as to why security is very important, especially when you're, you're storing data in the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. However, a lot of end users and some organizations just don't want this and they're simply happy having the um, email uh, one-time code or adding their phone as an SMS to, to receive or a text or a phone call. So if you have some end users or even if you have your own organization and you just don't want this, this video is certainly going to help you. So you may have been getting some messages just after you've maybe set up an account or been using your account as I'll put on screen now asking you to sign up. So this is the screen that you will see when it asks you to sign up for Authenticator. But again, I'm going to show you on how you disable this. So what you want to do, guys, is you want to jump into your Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So just by going to office.com and then you can sign in there. And then what you're going to do is, I'll just show you here, so we'll jump into the Admin Center. And then what we're going to do is you're just going to go on to Identity, just down the bottom left down here. Now once the Identity tab loads, guys, you're then just going to go, uh, well, you're going to hide the Identity. So just click on this little arrow here, and you're going to expand the Protection tab. And you're just going to click on Authentication Methods right here. And this will take you straight into the policy section. Now, all of a sudden, you'll see all your policies in place here. So these are all the different authentication methods you can have in 365 at the moment at the time of this recording. Now, Microsoft Authenticator, um, as I said, th this is currently uh, how it would be if you have just set up a tenant or if you haven't changed any of these settings. So I've just set up a demo tenant for the purpose of this video. So as you can see at the moment, it is disabled. But in a few days' time, I will be asked to sign up for it. So what I'm going to do is if you have got this enabled, I would suggest just turn that straight off and then just go down to save down at the bottom. And then what you're going to do is just wait for that to save there and that will take you back to the previous screen. And then the next thing you're gonna do is go to go, go just gonna go to settings down here on the left hand side and then wait for this section to load. And then straight away, you'll see a section called system preferred multi-factor authentication. Now at the moment, I've got this disabled but yours will be set as Microsoft managed. So you're gonna click on that and then change it to disabled and then click save. And the next step I also recommend, guys, is for reg if you do have any users looking to register within your organization, you can also disable the registration campaign here. So when you go into registration campaign, just go to edit at the top left here. And then again, it will be Microsoft Manage. So it's going to click on that and then go down to disabled and then click save. Now, the other thing which I'm also going to cover, guys, is if you also want to change any um, or if you want to disable specific policies, this is exactly where you would do it. So maybe you wanted to disable Authenticator, but you want to have SMS and email on. Again, you would do the same thing. So if you wanted to switch on SMS, you would just click on SMS, turn it on and then click save right there. And then that will then give your user the option to set up um, a, or add a phone number for SMS for one time codes. But that's it guys, so hope that's helped you out. If, the, if this video has helped you out, again, please leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts and what you think. Um, you can also disable this for specific users as well. So if you do want me to make a video or put some instructions, again, leave me a comment below and I'll also do that. And if this video has helped you, please smash that like button as always, and please also subscribe as well for future videos. Thanks again guys for watching, take care and see you in the next one. Bye for now.